Evening loves, you're joining me for my updated spring nighttime routine. My evening begins when work ends. So let me get up from the seat and away from the screen. I'm gonna pick a candle. I don't know what this one is called or what the notes are. All I do know is it smells amazing. And this candle lighter is everything. I'm going over to my closet to pick a fit, something comfy and cozy. But first, oral hygiene. Don't forget to brush your teeth and your tongue. Let's hop into the shower. We start off by cleansing once, twice, shaving, scrubbing, exfoliating, everything to get your skin super soft and supple. Don't forget those feet. Now let's do a little bit of skincare. As you can see, I'm dealing with a little situation. So the first thing we're gonna do is cleanse. I'm gonna go in with my Foreo to make sure it's extra squeaky clean. Then I'm gonna cleanse off all of my eye makeup using my cellular water. This is the truth. Whatever I was doing before was not working. This keeps my lashes healthy too. You know I'm a clean freak, so. Pat dry, it's very important that you pat, don't rub. And now we're gonna have a mask moment. I can't really say much about this mask. I did a whole review if you want to check it out. But a thin layer is what we're going to put on. And while it is on, we're going to nourish and moisturize the rest of our body. The first thing we're going to do to seal in the moisture from the shower is a little bit of sweet almond oil. Rubbing this, especially on the parts of your body that tend to be dry, is going to really help seal in and hydrate. Then we're gonna layer with a heavy cream if you're dry like me, no matter what time of year it is. This stuff is key. Take your time. Self-care is not just about the products you use, but the time you take to indulge in you. Slip on something comfy, rinse off the mask. Now it's time to deal with these blemishes and the uneven skin. First thing we're gonna do is add a couple drops of thyrolic and retinol acid. This is a game changer. I've been using it for years. I'm also gonna put some under eye cream for the baggage that I got going on. And then the lips need a little love too, so this lip sleeping mask is definitely a must do. For the hair, a couple drops of this hair growth serum. That doesn't really help with that, but it does make the scalp moisturize and the hair really soft. This is an alternate night, just to show you guys what I do when my skin is really acting up. The first thing I'm gonna do is take one of these duo pads. One side is a super acid that tingles and stings, but at least you know it's working. You're gonna rub, 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 as you can see, applying all over your face, and then you're gonna use side two to balance and even. Five minutes in between each step, and then you're gonna finish off with the same retinol I showed you the other night. Whichever way my skincare goes, the end of the night is always the same. I'm gonna switch my pillowcase depending on if my hair is curly or straight. A couple spritzes on the pillow of lavender to help me fall asleep. And just before I do, I'm gonna choose either to journal, to plan my day, to set intentions, or to listen to a couple pages of a book on my phone. That's how I wrap up my night. Let me know how you do yours down below. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.